Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. The FGB shirt came in. If you hate the Packers, type FGB down in the comments because your boy's shirt came in. I know a lot of you guys have bought your shirts as well. If you haven't, still plenty in stock. Go pick one up today. Chatsports.com slash FGB because we all hate the Packers on this channel. Week two is just around the corner, and you're going to want your FGB shirt for that matchup. Pick one up today. F Green Bay. That's how we roll here. Chatsports.com slash FGB. Link is in the comments and in the description of this video. All right, we got some news to get into. I am your host, Harrison Graham, here on Chicago Bears Now. The Bears have officially placed Nikhil Harry on short-term IR, which means he'll miss at least the first four weeks. And then, after some uh, slight confusion yesterday, Kellen Deesh officially added to the practice squad as was veteran linebacker Joe Thomas, who spent training camp with this team as well. So Harry goes to IR, which we all thought was going to happen, but then we got confused yesterday with Tajay Sharp, but then we we found out that was uh, season-ending IR. So it's all figured out now. Nikhil Harry heads to injured reserve, which means he'll miss at least the first four weeks of the regular season. And now, when you look at wide receiver, you're like, hmm, you got five. Darnell Mooney. Equinemia St. Brown, Byron Pringle and Valus Jones Jr., who were still injured, did not practice yesterday. We'll see if they practice today. And Dante Pettis. Mooney, St. Brown, and Pettis are your only 100% healthy receivers right now. So what does that mean? It means you need a receiver, in my opinion. Uh, even if they're all five or fully healthy, I personally like having six. Now, maybe the Bears would operate with five. Some teams do, but I definitely think there's a real scenario where the Bears go out and sign a receiver. They have an open roster spot now, so we'll wait and see what happens. But uh, I would go out and get somebody if I was Ryan Poles. What do you guys think? Do the Bears need to sign a wide receiver? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think it's a resounding yes. And there's still some guys out there that are actually decent players. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Here are some of the most notable free agent receivers. There's a few more on top of this list. Sure, there's guys like Odell Beckham, but the Bears aren't going to get him. Will Fuller, T.Y. Hilton, Cole Beasley, Emmanuel Sanders, Preston Williams, who got cut by the uh, Dolphins. Uh, Lynn Bowden also got cut, by the way. The Patriots did sign him to their practice squad, but he is available if you want to go poach him from there. Uh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by any of these guys to add to your group. Now, you do have Nasimba Webster, Isaiah Coulter on the practice squad. Sure, you could elevate one of those guys uh, if you want to, but I just think that going out and getting a receiver could make some sense for this team. We'll end up seeing what happens there, but Nikhil Harry has been placed on IR, and with Tajay Sharp out for the year and out of the mix all of a sudden. Uh, wide receivers looking a little thin. I think uh, that's a position you got to keep an eye on moving forward if you are the Bears. All right, subscribe and join us on the call-in app. Uh, we haven't done our call-in show yet this week. We're going to do it today at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central time. So join us uh, this afternoon. Ryan Pohl speaks to the media at 12. Uh, so we'll react to that and any other Bears news and rumors that are out there. Plus, we'll take some calls. So subscribe at chatsports.com slash Bears call -in. Download the app on iOS and Android. Links to download for each uh, cell phone um, uh, type that you have are in the description. iOS, Android, it's available everywhere. And then call into the show. We'll have some fun. I'll take some calls, and uh, we'll chop it up, the latest Bears news and rumors. So the second part of this news uh, in terms of the roster and practice squad is Kellen Deesh and Joe Thomas to the practice squad. So as of now, the Bears have a full 16-man practice squad. We'll see if that changes once the waiver wire hits today. I wonder if guys like Kairos Tonga could return and, you know, Caleb Johnson, other guys that uh, obviously got waived yesterday uh, to sign those six new players, including Alex Leatherwood. But for now, here is the practice squad as follows. Chase Allen, the tight end. Trayvon Coley, the defensive tackle. Isaiah Coulter, Micah Dutredaway. You've got Dieter Eijland still in the mix. Darrington Evans, DeMarquis Gates. Thomas, Thomas Graham Jr., Devontae Harris, Sam Kamara, uh, Nathan Peterman. You got Lechavia Simmons, Joe Thomas, A.J. Thomas, Nasimba Webster, and Kellen Deesh, uh, as Thomas and Deesh are the two newest members of the practice squad. I'm excited for Deesh in particular. I liked him coming out of college. He should have been drafted. He was not. Uh, I'm surprised uh, that the Bears have uh, been able to get him to their practice squad here. So uh, that's a good move in my opinion. Ryan Poles is a former offensive lineman, obviously looking uh, to develop uh, 
young talent at that position. Deesh, another guy they can do that with. Joe Thomas, good vet to keep around. He's played a lot in this league. Um, special teams value, depth linebacker. I thought he had a pretty good camp, a uh, decent chance of making the team. He did not, but uh, I think he's a good guy to keep around for the Chicago Bears. So keep that in mind moving forward. Practice squad obviously is going to fluctuate here. We'll keep you guys up to date on the latest. The regular season is less than two weeks away. Subscribe. Join us. We're almost there. Week one just around the corner. And by the way, we're doing that competition with the 49ers report in terms of new subscribers. As of this morning, we were up five new subscribers. It's that close uh, between now and week one. Competition over the next two weeks. So subscribe. Join us. Let's beat those Niners in week one. Daily video still coming at you here on Chicago Bears. Now, all right, are the Bears – potentially going to announce a move to Arlington Heights soon. And rumors continue to circulate as obviously there's friction uh, with Soldier Field issues at the city of Chicago and uh, with the Bears purchasing uh, that property out in Arlington Heights. Brad Biggs of the Chicago Tribune hopped on the Pat McAfee show yesterday and said, it's a matter of when, not if, the Bears move to Arlington. We could have an announcement before the end of the calendar year. So Biggs is taking it a step further saying, this is happening, and I've been saying that for about a year. I'm pretty confident this will happen, um, like it or not, because, look, there, there's certainly sentimental reasons to stay in Chicago. I, I don't want to downplay that, the history there of being in the city, Soldier Field and all that. I, I, I get all of that. But there's just too good of reasons to move if you are the Bears franchise. Number one, you can build a state-of-the-art upscale stadium. You see SoFi, you see – you know, the Cowboys Stadium, even though it's 10 years old, it's still, you know, uh, fantastic. The Raiders' new stadium in Vegas. Like, you build that stadium, guess what happens? You can host Super Bowls. You can bring in other events like the, co you know, co college football playoff, the Final Four in college basketball, endless concerts. I know Soldier Field already always uh, gets some concerts, but – in the winter, you can't do that because it's 10 degrees outside. So uh, you've got uh, that revenue reasons. And you keep all of the revenue. Right now, the Bears split 50-50 with the city of the revenue at Soldier Field. There's just no reason uh, for them not to move beyond, like, the history of it. Leaving Chicago will hurt. It will. Um, but I think after a few years, people will honestly get over it. I mean, it's not like they're going from Chicago to Baltimore or something like that. You're not relocating. Uh, I mean, technically you are, but the franchise isn't going from Chicago to Memphis, from you know Chicago to Dallas or something like that. You're going out to the suburbs, which a lot of big franchises have done that, like Cowboys Stadium, not in Dallas, Texas, okay? Rams and Chargers don't play in Los Angeles. That's just how this works if you want to build a state-of-the-art facility. That's just how things are moving. The financial upside, it's just too good to pass up uh, for the Bears. It makes too much sense. Um, they may have to foot a lot of the bill to build this stadium early on, but at the end of the day, it's just it's the upside down the road. I mean, the Bears are already, I think, uh, the recent Forbes report, fifth most valuable franchise, fourth or fifth in the NFL. This could push them into the top two or three. I don't think they'd catch the Cowboys, but uh, number two, not out of the realm of possibility if they move to Arlington Heights. So I think it's going to happen. We'll see if it's announced by the end of the year, like Brad Biggs suggests it might. Uh, but just prepare yourselves because this is probably the future of this franchise. Now, do you want the Bears to leave for Arlington Heights? Don't, don't predict what you think is going to happen. What do you want to happen. Type W for yes, you do want it to happen. Type D for you don't. You want to stay in Chicago and make it work there. Um, I understand if that's the case, but I'm just telling you right now, I'm 95 plus percent confident that uh, the Bears will move to Arlington Heights. W for want it to happen. D for don't want it to happen. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of Bears Now. FGB, baby. Get it going in the comments. Get the shirt. Link in the comments as well. Also, link to uh, subscribe to the call -in app after you download the app on iOS and Android. 3 o'clock Central Time today, I will be live on call -in. So subscribe. Join us. We'll see you then. I'm Harrison Graham. Bear down.